What's up guys, Jerry Fox here, and chances are you're watching this on the Windows PC, made possible to us by Bill Gates. But now he's tackling reinventing the toilet. So yes, the toilet we have in our bathrooms that's so mundane we don't even think about. But actually, 40% of the world doesn't have access to it. So if you're unfamiliar with what Bill Gates has been doing since he left Microsoft, well he's been busy helping third world countries with his resources. He makes a point that our flushing toilets are impractical for the developing countries because they lack a combination of resources such as water, sewers, electricity, and sewage treatment systems. So Bill Gates is invested in this because he points out that these places that don't have a system set up have around 1.5 million children dying each year from food and water that's tainted by fecal matter. But a lot of the times when something's happening across the world, especially to poor countries, people tend not to care. So why should you? Well, if nothing's done about the issue, contamination will eventually keep on spreading to the environment. And it will also mean that there will be more fresh water being used for something that could obviously be used for something else. Next up, one of these stories that shows if you put a price tag on something, someone will buy it. So this doctor mentioned this chair that's supposed to make you happier. He came up with the idea of making this after research shows that sitting for a long time obviously has some negative effects on both your mental and physical health. But like I said earlier, with a price tag of $8,000 plus, dollars, by putting an attractive professional looking woman on it and saying it was made by MIT, someone's gonna buy it. But who could blame him? Finding a way to make money off of loads that are stupid or having way too much money in the first place. And last up, the Olympics are now over, but now Anissa's coming out to showing who the true winners are. They aren't necessarily the gold winners, so all the medal winners gain a sum of money from their corresponding countries based on how good they placed. But actually, that sum of money is pretty laughable. The real money comes from whatever sponsors they pick up. And so wouldn't it make sense that someone that won a gold medal would have an easier time getting sponsors? Instead, sponsors were more attracted to the people that had more followers on Facebook and Twitter. A good example is Tom Daly with 1.5 million followers on Facebook. He was looked at to have the most potential to bring in money, but of course, Winning a gold medal and already being social helps you out a ton. Like Jessica Ennis has over 800,000 fans on Facebook after winning gold. Or the Jamaican superstar that has over 8 million fans on Facebook. Overall, it's just crazy how much control sponsors have over the Olympics. And what big roles both Twitter and Facebook have just 4 years after the last Olympics. And that wraps it up. Don't forget to subscribe for a daily video and I'll see you guys tomorrow.